Hello. Today, I'm going to use a two revolu joint robot to explain product of exponential formula of uh, forward uh, kinematics. And this formula is used to determine the configuration of an n factor. Given the configuration of each individual adjacent link. And in order for us to do that, we first have to fix, find a fixed frame to determine the first configuration of the n factor, then find the configuration of the individual adjacent links. We, and this m happens to be actually the homogeneous transformation which tells us the location of our n factor. So, in this case, since our, this is our n factor, and we want to find the configuration of this n factor with respect to our reference frame or our C frame, we are going to what? Make our C frame a fixed frame and determine the configuration of our n factor. And when we fix it, we'll be able to find the location of our n factor. And in this case, our m as we know this is going to be our positive z axis, positive y axis positive x axis, our m is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, L1, 0, 0, 1, L0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Because our L0 is in our z axis, our L, L1 is in our Y axis, and we don't have any, anything in our X axis. So this defines our location of our N factor. So now we have to find a configuration with respect to the f uh, uh, fixed frames that we will define. So, we know the screw uh, uh, formula, we know the linear velocity formula, uh, uh, unit uh, linear uh, velocity formula when our joint is a revolute joint, meaning that the robot is going to rotate along, in this case, the positive z axis. So we are not going to have a pitch. So we can use this formula for our velocity. So we know our q to, to be our, any arbitrary point along our axis of rotation, which our axis of rotation happens to be omega. So let's go ahead and find our parameters that will define the configuration of the link and eventually help us determine the configuration of our n factor. So to make a quick table here, Okay, one and two. So our omega one, 
when B is fixed, what is going to, uh, omega 1 is going to be 0, 0, 1. Since the axis of rotation lies in the X, in the Z, uh, 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 positive Z uh, direction. And uh, Q1 is going to be an arbitrary point on there. So I'm going to take it to be 0, 0, 0. That will give us 0, 0, 0 for our V1. Now, for our omega 2, when we fix uh, the C frame, we are going to get 0, 0, 1 also. And our Q1, I want to go with 0, 0, I'm sorry, L1, 0. And that will give us L1, 0, 0. And this gives us the configuration of our end factor. Thank you for watching.